Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Hi. This is uh, our TV channel, uh, YouTube TV channel called Newport, uh, New Portal TV. And we're from Newport, um, South Wales. And we've set up this channel. UK, UK not Australia. Oh. Okay, yes, North America, UK. North America, UK, South Wales, UK. So that's where we are. And um, it's a new portal TV. And what we're trying to do is to unite spiritual entrepreneurs and people who've got something to say. So we're, we're sort of providing a platform for people to tell about, tell about themselves, what they do, their challenges, um, so in a way it will help people um, with advice um, sometimes we actually give out healing um, some of the um, interviewees have given out healing and some people give advice so it's up to you what you want to share so today who who have we got we've got normally we interview females but today we've got Zed you're the first chap that we're interviewing so you you should you should feel privileged really <laughs> I am very privileged and blessed and the good thing is I am skidangle boom which means I'm balanced with my male and masculine and feminine energy that's that, that's why I chose you that's why I chose you so um this is Zed uh, Regal I mean he's got such a lovely name isn't it Regal you know and uh, I'm Danielle Sheehan and um, this is our co-host uh, April Rogers and so we're going to start by asking I don't know too much about you Zed I know I've met you once and I know you um you're a musician you're a therapist you are um you've done so much and you've overcome massive challenges and you know you you talk you told us about it when we met last time and i think maybe if we could start by you know telling us about yourself and you know what you're up to and you know we'll just wow. listen <laughs> that's a loaded question where do i start um Right now, I am a intuitive healer, soul healer, um, massage specialist, NLP, hypnotherapy practitioner, um, musician, author, poet. Um, oh, yes, I forgot. You're a poet. You know, you've got some <laughs> lovely poetry. Yeah, maybe well, towards the end, you could um, give us a little poem. A little something, something, so, yeah. So, Zed, where are you based? Where are you based? Um, at the moment, right now, I'm in Swindon, but I'm I'm a lot in Bristol. I'm a lot in London, the UK, basically. Yeah. Okay. Where Where were you born? Originally, I'm from South London. I'm from Peckham. Oh, Peckham, South yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I know Peckham, yeah. You're yeah. from that area, aren't you? No, Daniel? I'm from, uh, I'm from uh, the south, well, Peckham, not far, but I lived in Bromley, Kent. But, oh, okay. Um, but, but I'm, you know, we're from Balham, Streatham, and husband yeah. from, is from Lewisham. South London crew salute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> south London. Yeah, we, we, we aim to conquer the world, yeah. <laughs> we are, we are cool we're we're the best, aren't we? South Londoners, we're the best. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Let's. Sorry. Let's continue. Yeah. You know. You said you've got a lot to say, and I know we know where you are right now. You're a healer, and and so on. But how did you come about? How did you start your journey? What made you start your journey? What made me start my journey into what? I have many journeys. Which journey? Oh, anyone. Any, any. <laughs> well, any your timeline. Your... Any timeline. What about your, let's, let's focus on your spiritual journey. All right. So my spiritual journey started as a, as a young person. Um, do you remember the film uh, Crocodile Dundee? Oh, yeah. yeah. Where he was in mick was in the jungle or in the wild and he had to tame a bear or something like that looking at it with his fingers and working tele telepathically with the animal to calm itself so i i saw that and i tried it the next day with 
and every day after that with any and every dog that I came across. And I started by using the fingers and talking and looking at the animal. Then I took my fingers away and I just looked and spoke. And then I stopped speaking and I just looked and communicated by telepathy. And these animals would do everything I told them to do just by looking at them. So I realized that I had a connection with animals from a very young age, as far back as I can remember. Um, then I had a fortunate accident where I was knocked over when I was living in Brixton, which um, led me through many different operations and it helped me because of the treatment I needed to stay balanced and keep me walking and out of a wheelchair. I learned so many different ways to heal my body and understanding the body, which led me to becoming a massage therapist. So I did sports massage, um, remedial massage, Indian head, hot stones. I'm a Reiki master. Um, I'm sure I've I've missed some stuff out. I'm a medium. So I missed some. So over time, my spirituality developed just because I was growing and doing and understanding just through my everyday experience. Um, so I guess that was the the humble beginnings of me getting into spirituality. Actually, I also do crystal healing as well. So I have a good friend um, called Carol Shand, rest in peace, who was, who is, was, soul never dies, so is a powerful healer. And she was into crystals and healing and all of that kind of stuff. And she introduced me to that side of life. And um, yeah, I've, I've never stopped since really, so. Yeah, I heal myself, I heal others. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gone to new depths. And... Do you do workshops, Ed, or is this one-to-one? -one? Do you do workshops with many people? Um, what, within healing? So, yeah. at, the, so at the moment, um, I'm doing different workshops. So I've got an emotional freedom writing workshop, which I do, which is exactly what it says on the tin it helps people emotionally free themselves through writing um i do reiki attunements and workshops like that and i'm also in the process of um setting up well, i'm also in the process of teaching my style of healing which is intuitive healing soul healing um to people who are already practitioners of some sort of like a minimum um Swedish massage so they already have a basic understanding of the body and the idea is to teach it to hotels and people that just want to upgrade their skills as a therapist you know because I have so many clients that are like now I found you I've traveled the whole world now I found you what am I going to do if you stop doing it and as much as I love healing I don't know if I'm going to be doing it all my life because speaking and there's other different thing, areas in life that I'm going into so I'm like all right let me create some other not even mini me's other healers that can heal in the way that I do and give treatments in the way that I do so that who I am and what I do is radiated and spread out worldwide. Okay so, so would you say there is a specific person that you're here to serve is there a specific age group or or is it just broad <laughs> it's broad my life journey has been very colorful and it, i've been through many different walks of life um and that has blessed me with the ability to be able to blend in and stand out in any environment so I'm able to help people who is living a street life, people who are rehabilitating from jail, business people, um, people who need healing on a soul level, emotional level, physical level, creatives, because creativity is a big part of who I am, coming through music, coming through media, radio, I'm a radio presenter, coming through television and acting and all the different sides of the creative stuff so i'm really here to serve people who want and need to find balance in all things so i have a saying for that which is skidangle boom which means the balance in all things it's a lifestyle it's a philosophy it's a teaching it's a lifestyle brand that i'm working on 
and just about to launch, funnily enough. And um, so I'm here to serve people that need my assistance. Yeah, people who are looking, isn't it? So people who are ignorant will stay that way. But if people are searching, they will find you because they want to change. And we find that more and more people are opening up. And, and to find somebody like you, you know, you, 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 you just, you know, opening up to so many different ways of helping people. And because you said you haven't got enough hours in the day, you're going to train people to do the same thing, which is um, such, such a good goal to have. But I was going to ask you, you know, you became intuitive at a very young age. Yeah. Were your parents that way inclined? Mm, no. No. Well, know. Were they no, church just... goers? Were they... Um, yeah my dad was highly religious um i used to get a lot of beatings to go to church um i rebelled but some of the stuff some of it stuck um enough to know that i'm not religious i'm spiritual mm. um and yeah dad was religious mum wasn't so with but, your siblings for example because you found a way you know you watch that film crocodile dundee and you managed to communicate with dogs and animals, All but, animals uh, yeah. yeah and are your um siblings are they that way inclined to or it was just you with a special gift i'm i'm a one-off magical man i am <laughs> there's no one else like me i am the one believe that <laughs> yeah but do you have siblings do you have um yeah but none of them are like me oh you're a strange one i'm not <laughs> strange i'm normal they're strange <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh yeah but what about your mum is she uh, spiritual no nope, none of them are like me like i these gifts they don't come from my parents. I'm an no. old soul. I'm a, I'm a very old soul. So maybe in, give us a past. Yeah, go on. Give us a past life that maybe you can remember. Or so one of my past lives was. Um, I've went back to a few of them. I think one of them was like fourteen ten, if not before. But I was the person that. When I think about who I am now and the gifts and abilities that I have now as far as healing, channeling messages, channeling healing for myself and other people in this time, in a past life, I was the person that the Pharaoh, king of the land, whatever you want to call it, would consult before making any decisions about anything. So he would consult me, I would channel through the universe, channel the answers, tell him what the answers is, and then he'd be like, right, this is what you lot need to do, and the whole nation would respond to what he said based on what I said. So a bit like a you, high priest then. Yeah, said. so did you help mm -hmm. with the pyramids? Did you help build the pyramids? Um, I wouldn't say I personally helped build the pyramids. I have always been the vessel and the connection to the divine to help others make choices and decisions for their life and their highest so good. where where do you think you come from where do i come from mm. um not from your mum and dad i'm not <laughs> i mean no, where do you I'm come from, from? Do you come from I'm a really, planet, different planet, different dimensions? Where is your, I know, I know everyone is connected to God in one way or the other, but because you said you've incarnated so many times, do you know where you go after death? Do you know where you come from? Do you have an inkling as to that? I just know I'm an evolved spirit, blessed with the body that I'm in right now blessed with my abilities from the past lives that I've been able to tune into with my understanding of my gifts and abilities right here and today mm. throughout all the different things that I do. 
So do you um, don't know you don't know where where you come from? I couldn't say that I know that I'm from a certain planet or anything like that. Do no. you know where you go when you uh, pass on? Do you have um, an inkling to that? I can't say that I do. I know there is no such thing as death because I'm, st I'm still here. <laughs> you know, as young as I am today, I know I'm so much older than I am in this time year, in this present time year. So. You're amazing because mm. it's like, what, what life was really a, a, an amazing life for? I know, don't say this, this present life, I mean, past lives. Do you yeah. have a life where you were just, you really enjoyed that life and you just like, gives you so much pleasure if you go back in time you know was there one particular life that you thoroughly enjoyed i enjoy i enjoyed all of them because i, I know was, you would say that you know but choose <laughs> one I, choose I, one i enjoyed, I enjoyed <laughs> choose one them. i know because we all yeah. maybe maybe you were a prince in one or maybe you were you know a is there one do, particular life? <laughs> do, do you know what's funny? Mm -hmm. When I think, when you ask me that question, people ask me that question in this time, if I was to choose one thing of all the things that I would do, mm -hmm. what would it be? And I find it hard to answer that question because I enjoy all of them and I'm good at, no, I'm better than good at all of what I do. And same in the past life, I was a person, in, I was regal in my past lives, in all of them which made sense when it came to rebranding who I am and, you know, becoming Zed Regal. I was like, okay, well, Zed is my name, given from birth, Regal is who I am and how I am and how I've always been. So I enjoyed my life, every, every <laughs> minute and moment of it. Obviously we have our ups and downs and all of that, nothing is ever smooth. Um, but yeah, we just take the smooth with the rough and we just keep moving forward right that's that's amazing but why is it some people you know especially young men you know commit suicide what is it that's lacking or is it something that they need to learn you know you hear about young people wanting to leave planet earth because planet earth is is heaven really if we look at it i mean i know we know there's so much disruption you know so much misery but at the same time nature is just truly truly amazing but why is it that some pe young people you know they've been given life on earth and they want to exit well that's a loaded question um <laughs> gosh <laughs> you know i, I thought perhaps with all your wisdom you might give us i think everybody's on a different journey Everybody's on a different path. Everybody has a purpose, good or bad, in this life or next, you know? Um, if somebody dies or is killed or kills themselves today, that's gonna have an effect on other people. Um, yeah. and, if, and that can be a positive effect. So if out of death creates a positive effect for others, then there's a, a reason and a purpose in that happening. Um, things that motivate people to suicide or whatever else, like as much as I can channel and tune into their minds, I, I'm not really trying to tune in and channel and no, tune No, 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 I don't want people. to tune. I don't want you to tune. I just yeah. want to know if you have an inkling as to, you know, I've, because I, I I've, I've, read, I've read books where they say, you know, what, what, when you, you decide to come down, everything is set. But if somebody were to commit to suicide, then all their connections then will have to rearrange to be rearranged. So it's a lot of work for the people at the top to go and rearrange a person's life. So yeah, I think I feel like we all have a path. We all have a destiny. We always have a choice. Um, and no matter what we choose, good or bad, right or wrong, up or down, left or right, it is what it is and it's always going to be what it was 
supposed to be for our life and how that affects people after that. So what motivates somebody to do that to them? I don't know. Um, but there is a reason for everything. So there's a reason for COVID-19. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I do ask, I do ask very, very um, difficult questions. <laughs> not a difficult question. What okay. do you think about COVID-19? What do you think about COVID-19? No, I'm, 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 I'm interviewing you. So I'm asking <laughs> your, <laughs> your opinion. My opinion on COVID-19, I think it's a, I think it's a pandemic, a pandemic. I think there's more going on that want, than, than what meets the eye. A lot of things don't make sense. A lot of things aren't adding up. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of lies. I feel like as far as viruses goes, there have been many man-made viruses over time. Um, for many different reasons. I feel there's other elements, including 5G, which has a play in what's going on and what's been going on. Um, yeah, there, there, uh, you know, we have a lot of questions to answer. I mean, even all the governments are saying that we've got to look into the data because they've all been... Um, in, they, it's come from somewhere how they would um, collect the data, but the da data is is wrong. So even the government here and in America and everywhere, they're trying to, you know, investigate it. But what I'm trying to say to you is, is it something that maybe was planned from above rather than man-made? Um so that we can all change because you find that people are becoming more kind of loving so they're looking after the neighbors they you know during the last four months you know they've been more like from the heart people are opening up people i know there's still some people who are um ignorant you know they're they, they're still asleep but yeah i yeah. think and and I tell you what, you know, outside where I live, it's really beautiful. Um, before we never got to see a lot of birds, but all okay. of a sudden you see all the birds in my garden. It's like they're just happy. They're not they're not threatened, you know. So you're attracting them. That's what it is. They're attracted to your energy. They just are love they? Your spray. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> and one <laughs> flew in my son's bedroom twice. Wow. There you twice. go. <laughs> That's a, that's a spirit animal connection right there. Check out the message for that one, totem animal, and you'll, you'll understand what that message was. Just Google it. Whatever type of bird it was, Google that totem animal meaning, and you'll understand what that message is about. We've got lots of crows as well. I don't know why. Blackbirds, uh, messages from spirit. Um, because they're in the garden walking, you know. They're not flying. Mm. They're just like... Yeah. Um, <laughs> And they're, they're, highly, they're picking my apples. Hmm? Yeah, they're highly spiritual, so they're just feeding of of the energy that, and the food, obviously, that's in your garden and around you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> really... It's a, that's amazing, isn't it? So that's what I'm saying. COVID-19 has brought about this change. You know, the earth is breathing more. You know, it feels free. Uh, if you look at the sky, the clouds are, are, are just amazing. And the sky is really blue. That's because all the pollution stopped. Everything was shut down. Yeah. There's the, mm. the earth not being polluted. Um, it has brought people together in a sense, which is always a good thing. Um, though I believe there's much more to it that, that isn't Yeah, but maybe, important. maybe the spirit up there, they're using them, you know, because they thought, oh yeah, we're mm. going to create misery for everyone maybe there's a higher purpose there's a reason for everything even if we don't yeah, understand like you said it. like you said there's a reason for, there's a reason for everything isn't there so yeah, yeah so let, let me ask you said was, was there a specific teacher that influenced you 
so I've had many teacher. I've had a spiritual teacher yeah that influenced you maybe a book you read or somebody you really like you like their words of wisdom I'm my university is life so I've had many teachers um if there's a if there was a book that resonates the first book that comes to mind would be Celestine Prophecy mm. and um, the story about energy and connecting and overstanding self and nature and all of that within that is really resonates with my journey and every time I've read it I've I've been in that place and overstanding those type of things um spiritual teachers um everybody's a spiritual teacher for me it's true isn't it yeah that's and, and that's just my life um yeah so have you have you been to any sacred sites um, i travel there every morning when i meditate first thing um where, where'd you go where'd you go <laughs> I go into a place of stillness, of nothingness. There is nothing there. I'm just in the void, in the vortex, whatever you want to call it. I'm just in the place of where my higher being feels at peace and I can just channel and communicate. So, um, so tell, us, tell us your um, daily life. What, what is it like? You know, what... what, what... What time do you wake up and then um, how long do you spend meditating? And At the moment, I wake up when I wake up, depends what time I go to sleep. Um, I work via appointment. So it's, you know, if I have no appointments the next day, I can wake up any time I want. First thing, no, meditate. Before I even open my eyes, I meditate. Um, so Without how long do you meditate then? Until it decides to stop. If I haven't got any appointments, there is no time limit. So I'll meditate, I'll cleanse my chakras, I'll connect the universe, Mother Earth, I'll you know communicate with the Most High. Um, then I will open up one eye, just one, and I'll write a poem for the day to start my day off, some form of something like that. Then I'll get up and I'll stretch, I'll do my exercise as I'm going for rehab. And then whatever I've got in my diary to do or on my to-do list, I'll do it until it's time to go to bed. Um, so what your about diet said? What do you eat? Yes, yes. What do I eat? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I try and stay as healthy as possible. Um, I stay away from bread, rice, pasta all of that stuff, especially if there's been no gym, it means the belly will get a bit bigger than I really want. You know what I mean? So fish, veg, you know, just, just the balance of yeah. wholesome food, movies, things like that. So, yeah. Do you take any supplements? No, other than water and good food. You know, I'm really interested in talking to animals because I, I think that's... Uh, just like no, no, we talk to our dog, and our dog knows so so many words. It's it is amazing. And where where I live, there's so many cows, and there okay. you can you can tell they're so intelligent. They come to you, and they they seem to try and communicate. But I never thought about talking to them. <laughs> Yeah, that's really interesting. We're all, we're all souls. We're all souls at the end of the day. Everything that lives and breathes, you know, has a soul. So, to the animal. Yeah, are you, um, are you an animal whisperer then? Um, I wouldn't call myself an animal whisperer, but I can communicate and have communicated with animals. It took me years to actually accept it. Because when I did the whole Crocodile Dundee thing, every day I thought, nah, that's not, that's not happening. It's not happening. And I did it for at least 10 years before I accepted that, okay, I really am connecting with these animals. I really am saying to this random dog, 
come over here, sit down, lie down, roll over without moving my tongue, without moving, just looking at them and they're doing it. So it took me a while to believe that I could do it even though I was doing it all the time. Um, um, do they tell you anything? Do they say anything to you? My first cat was called Sam and it ran away because my neighbours was feeding it whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember it till to this day. When I communicated, that's what it said. You lot were feeding me gold cat, gold cat. You know what I mean? The neighbours were feeding me whiskers and there was more cats around there. I'm happy around there. That's what it told me. So, yeah, I, I can communicate with animals. Yeah. Um, we, we have got about six minutes. Do you have a special poem you could read to us? or? Um... <laughs> It's actually, actually, um, I don't actually know. I think it might be on the phone that I'm actually doing the Zoom on. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Is there, um, is there a blessing you can give to all people who will be watching this? You know, a particular, you know, prayer or or a connection that you could pass on. So when people watch it, they get something from it. Actually, I've I've got a poem that I wrote. Um, when did I write this? I haven't even read this back, so I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> Should I read this one? Yeah, yeah, go on. All right. So, got six minutes. Yeah. This one is cool. Focus. This one was written this morning called Focus. Um, I'm probably going to read it on tomorrow. So I got a Facebook show, which I do every Thursday at nine o'clock on my Facebook page live. Zed Regal, add me up, check it out, all of that stuff. Um, it's called Regal Vibes. It's a poetry show where I share my poetry and people's poetry. Um, and obviously emotional freedom writing stuff, so it's great. This is part of my emotional freedom, which I do with more responsible to focus. Um, focus. 2020 or 100, 100 vision. Laser sharp precision. Shallow depth of field. Zoom in. Sense the details. Where are you? What is your object of attention? External or within what is it you need what is it you need give and receive and how are you going to achieve what is the dream how much light are you letting in through your lens expel any darkness are you focused what is the vision take a snapshot can you clearly see or feel exactly what you want to see or be in your film or captured journey who is, who is the director, who is the producer, and who is the star of your focused attention? You are. This is a blockbuster feature with multiple chapters, prequels and sequels. The franchise is legacy, laced with magic. Action, suspense, a thriller, fun, excitement, adventure, love and lust. A heart racer, temperature riser that has you on the edge magnetically pulling you forward to what's next. Who is your angel investor? What do you attribute or salute to their contributions? Are they the spark, the driving force or solutions? Who has the answers? You do. Mm. So sometimes the vision is so big that it's hard to see the full picture or frame clearly. So feel your way through and to the point where your focus is manifest clearly. As you are the frame, the picture, the camera, cin cinematographer, you are the author, the writer, and the observer. So enjoy your creations of bliss, beauty, and excellence as you are the object of attention and focus. Hashtag skedangle. Boom. <laughs> 
that is <laughs> that is really good. That is so uplifting, you know. To, yeah. to... I can imagine it to music, you know, with the beat. No. <laughs> no, no. that could work to music i mean like i've that's fresh today i haven't even read that's the first time i've read it back since i wrote it so um thank yeah, you yeah we are we are the star of our own movie isn't it we're the star uh, but we yeah. don't we don't think of us as a star do we you know some people with low self-esteem they don't think themselves as you know shining bright if we were all to do this, we're stars and we're shining like wherever we go, we're a star. I think that's, that's right. what, we, what, what we have to leave people with that thought today, you know. You know. My message, definitely, you're right. We are the star. I think my message within that was about focus. You know what I mean? What we focus on, you know, sometimes we don't see that we're the star. We don't see who we are or where we are or what we're doing. Though, if you focus on a specific part of us, then you're able to see. Shine, shine, shine. shine. We're gonna sh We've only got a few seconds left and we're just gonna sh shine. So we've only got a few seconds left. If yeah. people want to get hold of me, check me at my website, zregal.com, Z-E-D, regal.com. All my Instagram is the same thing, zregal. Facebook, every Thursday at nine o'clock. It's all about regal vibe. Share your poetry. Um, the Skidangleboom website soon will be here soon. And if y'all need healing, workshops, events, all of that stuff. Just 